So we are coming off the treetop restaurant. Now we're heading to the monkey trail and we're gonna see monkey along the way and I'll take us to the exit as well. How was it lunch? It was really good. Uh, the Albert's um, restaurant. Yeah, I like the spaghetti and the fries. So the good. Fries are good. The truffle fries. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna check out some monkey. Oh, there's a fake monkey here. Entering the gorilla. Gorilla area. One over there. Oh, moving. Walking away. For sure. No doubt Some alligator, alligator, and rhino, gator, and a oh, crocodile. Oh, look at that! So big. The monkey trail. <laughs> oh, see another monkey here. A lot of monkey. Scratching his head. Here he is, a little head scratcher. Even down. 
사람이 바비 루사 It's a North Seoul Sulawesi Baby Rusa. Okay, we're gonna check out the reptile house. This one I remember. Gila Monster. The name is called Monster. Gila Monster. A lot of snake. Don't watch the show. All that wonder. This is Chirpaji. She is 13 years old and she is just gorgeous. She is a great representation to her species, long and svelte, and she has all of those amazing adaptations which help make cheetahs the shaped aerodynamic head. She has whiskers that can be pinned back. She has ears that can be pinned back all for when they're going at those top speeds. When she walks by you, you can see how long her spine is. It's elastic in nature, which is great for when they're running. And she has those beautiful claws, which are called semi-retractable claws. Now this means that they are always going to be hanging out just like they are right now batter predators. Now she has those two stripes on her face called Malar stripes or her Serengeti sunglasses which help reflect the sun in the middle of the daytime no, in I the thought. harsh savannas. She also has those spots all over her body which are perfect camouflage. When you are crouched down in the dry grasses with the sun shining through and the different shadow patterns they blend in perfectly. If they have a good vantage point, they can see their prey items up to three miles away, or they will get as close as possible. I guess as to how much Einstein might weigh. You can just shout out. Anyone? A hundred pounds. Yeah, that's a little heavy. Jessica is a strong girl. I heard somebody say it. You're smart. Five pounds. She only weighs that much because she does need to fly. If she was real heavy, it wouldn't be that advantageous. So they have hollow or honeycomb bones. They're more porous in there, and that allows her to be uh, lighter when she is flying. Now, something that is even more impressive is she can carry something off with her. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, I got excited. We just got this B-roll um, of our wolves flying. Those are two younger wolves. Um, Shadow's just making the appearance today, and he's going to do what wolves do best. He's marking the stage. You may have noticed that Elvis came out here, so Shadow is now following around, and he's going to let Elvis know every bit of this stage is his. <laughs> now, Shadow is eight years old, and he has this nice fluffy coat right now, and I was talking about how my job easier. <laughs> um, so what he is doing, it is a natural behavior. Anybody have a dog here at home? That does it? Yeah, quite a few of you. My dog likes to roll around in gross fish and gross smells. Uh, so we put some scents on here. And wolves do it for a couple reasons. One reason may be to cover up their own scent when they're hunting, but also it is a way they communicate. So Shadow found something really good right here. He's gonna roll around in it, take it back to the pack. The pack members are gonna smell it and they're gonna know exactly where to find it. So that is one of the ways they communicate.